Hi everyone. Uh, I'm just fresh off the Sunday morning special with the journey to the Pika community, which is like, just feels like one of the most evolved, evolved groups of people that I get to be around all week. <laughs> so I always look forward to like getting into that Sunday morning special with them. And um, yeah, so much, so much love, so much openness, uh, so much receptivity, so much wisdom. Like God. Um, so what do I want to say though? After after class, I'm reflecting on this idea. I brought in this thing of like, what is your next level of mindset? What is your next level tool set? What is your next level skill set? And what is your next level people set? This is a lot of the work that I was doing with Kate Stillman on her recent retreat in, in Wyoming. And um, a really interesting conversation unfolded around like how people bring these things into their lives. Next level mindset, skill set, people set, tool set. And like, you know, one of the things that came up for me is I think that there's like a paradigm around growth that says that like growth and evolution and achievement and, and transcendence are hard. Like, they're, they're, and I'm not saying I disagree with the fact that they're hard, but I think the argument or the case that I want to make is that it's actually harder if you don't get aligned into a growth rhythm or an evolutionary rhythm. And so you got to like find your find your language that works for you. I'm reading so much Ken Wilber right now, um, specifically a brief history of everything where he just talks a lot about like, it's a, it's a fundamental principle of integral that like, we are driven by the force of transcendence and evolution. So we're driven by a force, the force is evolutionary. And so that may, means that each stage, it transcends the previous stage. And then where it gets really beautiful is like it not only transcends it, but it also it also includes it. So there's an integration process. One of the points that I wanted to kind of drive home to the the group this week was that like you could be anchored in peace during this journey or not. And that that can be hard sometimes. Like you could be anchored in peace um, on your evolutionary journey. And I guess I'll just go personal with this and say that like there was a time in my life when I wasn't anchored in peace. <laughs> and so I worried a lot about, even in the realm of, of evolution, even in the realm of like, I guess in like my higher stages of development, even when I was around my most evolved people, I was still worrying about low level things, right? And I would just, I would project those things onto those people because it was, it was me. Um, so I had to evolve my mindset. <laughs> And I had to get around different people who didn't have that mindset. So Deb made a really interesting point today that they're all very interconnected and interwoven. I completely agree. Your people set, your tool set, your mindset, your skill set, they're all very interwoven. And the, the case that I wanted to make here was just that like, actually it's harder to not be in rhythm with the, with the evolutionary pulsation. The yogis call it spanda. Um, all right, you guys, those are my post-class thoughts. Shout out to the Journey to the Peak community. Shout out to my collaborator, Shauna Emmerich, for just being so willing to like say yes. And honestly, if you guys want to hear this conversation, you can get into the two-week free trial of Journey to the Peak, pay nothing, tune in, hear the conversation, and then like let us know what you think. Drop your opinion in the comments because some really interesting things got unfolded. So, um, all right, peace out, people.